Valentin Allé is satisfied with this year's bean harvest on the biggest rooftop farm in Paris. The beans. A whole load of them. Most people who come here are surprised. They say they don't feel like they're in the heart of Paris. Paris is undergoing a transformation. Many are sick of the traffic jams and air pollution, which make the summers almost unbearable. The French capital is hoping to be climate neutral by 2050. So trees are being planted on public buildings and vertical forests are cropping up. Rooftops are turning into massive vegetable plantations. Not far from the Eiffel Tower, Valentin Allais' rooftop farm is the biggest of its kind in Europe. 1.5 hectares, or the equivalent of two soccer fields. 250 grams. Make sure you put the lid on properly. The fruit and vegetables are delivered to a supermarket that's just two kilometers away. Short distances mean lower CO2 emissions. It's a win-win situation for the environment. But what about the quality of the produce? I'm ambivalent because on the one hand, a good CO2 record because everything is close by. But on the other hand, it's a very polluted environment. I have to admit, I'm not that interested in produce that's been cultivated in the city. I prefer fruit and vegetables produced in the countryside, especially because Paris is very polluted. The French Institute for Agricultural Research is hoping to dispel some of the doubts. On this roof there are boxes for fruit trees and a piece of fallow land to test what grows here naturally. Christine Aubry and the Institute are looking for a way to promote urban agriculture. She thinks that the produce grown on Paris roofs is harmless. Some German colleagues at the Berlin University discovered about 10 years ago that as soon as you pass the third floor, you're no longer in the zone polluted by traffic. She says these roof farms also have an educational function. There are at least three or four generations of urbanites who don't have any education or direct contact with rural agriculture. So most of our children, grandchildren, don't know what cultivating a tomato or a salad entails. That's why Franck Pontier rescued a vegetable farm in the middle of a typical concrete desert in the Paris suburbs. How are you? Off you go to work. They're a bit shy. He is less worried about air pollution than the contaminated ground, by heavy metals, for instance. But he's found a way of getting around this. As the soil is broken up, the lead will sink in slowly, especially if I don't use any plants that would retain it. If I don't use spinach, lamb's lettuce, carrots, or beetroot that trap the lead, it will sink down. He has planted edible flowers instead. He says that tests have shown that they have no lead residues, and chefs love them. Just take a tiny little grain, it tastes like leeks. It's pretty incredible. Many urban farmers are convinced that there are solutions to fight the problems that arise in an industrialized city. And the state is funding visionary projects and farms all over France. There are already over 300. Not only in Paris, but in all the big cities of France and even Europe. There are more and more roofs being built. And many architects who are already thinking about how to use roofs for vegetation and create green roofs. Valentin Allais and his colleagues are planning to double their rooftop space in Paris. This is where they see the economic 
and environmental future.